knowing that worship is always God-centered, I hope to also make it child-centered and inclusive. After all, Jesus says the kingdom of God belongs to these little ones, so I want that to be the heart of the matter. In the classroom, I want to maintain a balance of prayer and study, heart and mind. And I want the students to know that service is a way of life and a reciprocal relationship. So it's not just that we are the helpers, but in service, we learn from one another and have a relationship that is ongoing to help the whole world. Holy Innocence Episcopal School is really not afraid to stand in its tradition as an Episcopal school. We live into our baptismal covenant, that we respect the dignity of all people, and we work for justice and for peace. Also, Episcopal schools are very much inclusive, not only welcoming all traditions, but taking time to learn about the different religious traditions, to listen, not just to speak and share our story, but to take time to be quiet and listen to the stories of others. It's important for children in the lower school to develop a deep trust in the all-encompassing love of God. Of course, it's important for us as adults to remember that children have as much to teach us about God as we do to teach them. So teachers of religion really need to be good listeners. I love learning about the different ways individuals connect with God. That diversity is a beautiful thing. So I look forward to learning from my students as much as they learn from me. I hope that children, as they prepare to move on out into the world and go to college, will have learned that it's a safe thing to question, to wrestle, and even to doubt. I hope that I've provided for them a safe space to ask questions and to wonder and explore, because really that's what it means to be human. And I hope they continue to pursue truth not only with their minds, with their intellects, but also with their hearts. Thank you.